Hi, my name is Gary, and for this um, screencast today, I'm going to be showing you a little bit how to use the query function in a spreadsheet. I want to give you a little background on how I'm doing this. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be celebrating Earth Week, and one of the activities is to try to get the kids to kind of reflect on the amount of trash that they they collect and, and produce, just to try to get them to understand, you know, how um, how much trash they use. And so, anyways, one for one day, we're going to have students. Actually, instead of throwing trash away, they are going to carry around the trash they produce in the day. And then at the end of the day, uh, their advisory groups and about like 12 students or so will add all this up to kind of like look for patterns and, you know, try to make them a little more aware of like how much things that we really threw, throw away. So I have like this form that I have, and um, I'll just kind of show you how this works synonymously with, with the spreadsheet. But at the end of the day, they're going to, you know, say which advisory they're in. Um, and then submit some numerical data in here and then submit that. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking just at some dummy data that I put in for a few teachers already. And what I want to do is I want to actually graph this, but I want to graph it. So for example, these different advisor teachers, everyone in Mr. Post class can see, you know, how much data did, did or how much trash they produce here. And so, you know, I, I could copy and paste these headers and then this stuff in later, but um, there's like almost 20 teachers and it take a long time. So I'm going to use a, a function that'll actually take this information from this tab that says teacher submissions on my starter page and I just created some new tabs down here and I renamed them post. So for example, Mr. Post class, you see, um, actually I've used a function to kick it over here. And then from that also, I have a, a data chart that you can like embed on a Google site or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, with a teacher that I haven't done this for, um, this other teacher, Ms. Cuppertson. And um, what it is, is uh, I'm just gonna give, for example, some, uh, submit some data just so you kind of see how this goes. So here's Ms. Cuppertson, and I'm just going to enter this and then enter like some dummy data that I'll just kind of go and delete later. And when I do that, I hit submit, and I see that pops over. And you see on my teacher submissions thing, you'll see Ms. Cuppertson's data comes in right here. What I want to do is I want to take this and I want to pull it from this column C and under what's your advisory if Ms. Cuppertson pops in here and I want to pop it over this tab. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a query function. For this, you're going to start with equals, and that's always like a basic function. And then uh, type in query, and then left parentheses. And so once I do that, um, what I can do is I'll just go like this, this over here, and it says, okay, under this form submission, this is what you're going to have. And so basically on the tab that says teacher submissions, um, between uh, one and a little over a thousand submissions, it'll pull this data. And now that I've done that, what I do is I want to pull some of these some of these headers, but not all of them. I don't want to pull the username or timestamp, but I want to have, you know, what the, uh, you know, for example, like how much trash is put out. And I want to pull from cells E, F, G, H, and I. So I'm just going to put a comma here, and then I'm going to put a quotation and say select, and then I'm going to type just letters for the different cells. So I'm going to have E, comma, F, comma, G, comma, H, comma, I. And then I'm going to also put uh, a, a, uh, a little addition, but I'm going to indicate in the function where C, so that's the cell or the column with all the teacher's names. And I'm going to say this, where C equals, and then I'm going to put just a one quote, and I'm going to say, Miss E-H-B-E-R-T-S-O-N, and then that, and then end quote, and then that. So now that I have that, uh, I see all this data has popped in here. So on this tab down here, it says Cupboards, and now this is automatically popped in there. And I can also just take a data chart that looks kind of nice. Let's say I kind of like this, and I'm going to say insert. I'm actually just going to rename this uh, as Cupboards Advisory. And so there we go. And so they can see how much trash that they actually um, produce. A uh, cool thing about this too is that the data here is conditional on the data that's being right here. So let's say I go back and actually delete this. I'm just going to say delete row seven. And we're going to see on the Cupperson tab here that basically that data chart's gone because there's nothing up there. However, if I go back and I want to submit this again just to know that this is working for uh, Ms. Cupperson's advisory, I can just do that and enter this in again and um, do that again, whoops, and submit. And now that I've done this, I can just double check and see that 
bam, that is basically popped in there in row seven again, and it's automatically kicked over. So um, I can pull this and we can look at different advisories and how much they actually produce. This is a really cool way of kind of amalgamating and sorting data and spreadsheets. So um, hope you enjoyed.